Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I am here not at some New York downtown nightclub. I am here at the New York Auto Show, but it may seem like a nightclub because of all the excitement, all for this vehicle right here. What the heck is it? This is a nice part two of what we already brought to you from LA. This is your redesign from top to bottom, inside and out, Infiniti QX80. This is the top autograph trim. But before we get into this full-size three-row SUV from Infiniti, let's talk about what's going on here. So we showed you a lot of the details of what this vehicle is about, but guess what? It's been over a decade in the working that I had to bring you even more because you wanted it. Now, we all know the OG to the luxury full-size SUV is the Lincoln Navigator. Then you look at vehicles like the Cadillac Escalade. Heck, even the Jeep Grand Wagoneer made a comeback in this luxury segment. But one thing that I think a lot of them weren't expecting is this vehicle right here. Seeing the changes that Infiniti is gonna be doing, not only to this vehicle, but also to the other vehicles in their lineup, truly makes it a renaissance. So what I wanna find out is, we're gonna go over this vehicle and I'm gonna point out some of the differences compared to when I first showed it to you. And is this really the best new luxury SUV that you should be ready to drop your money on? Let's go ahead, let's dive in and find out. The first thing I wanna show you is the leveling of the air ride suspension. I know there were some people in the comment section of the first review that were curious why it was sitting so low. Well, guess what? Infinity wanted to show you that when you go to enter the vehicle, that air ride suspension is gonna lower all the way down to make ease of getting in and out. What I like here is at the auto show, they kind of brought back a little higher setting to be able to show you truly what the vehicle looks like as it's going down the road. And then that air ride suspension will go up and down depending on how you're driving it. Now at the front of the business, style and lighting is gonna be crucial. And when you look at brands like Cadillac with the Escalade and Lincoln with the Navigator, they have certain styling cues that as soon as you see them, you know what that brand is. Well, guess what? Infinity is bringing that with this new QX80. So I love the way they do that piano style to the daytime running lamps. Of course, those LED projector beam headlights and those ginormous functional corner air curtains. What I like about the front of this vehicle, it doesn't look like a transformer like the Cadillac. The Cadillac looks a little transformer-esque and the Lincoln Navigator, I'm hoping that Lincoln after seeing this is gonna step up their game because it's getting a little fuddy-duddy. What I like about the Infiniti QX80, it's modern, it's classy, but it's not fuddy-duddy. And I think that that's gonna be very popular with the people. Coming across, of course, you'll have that design about the bamboo, all this grill shape is supposed to mimic the growth of bamboo. You have your bridge across the top, and I am absolutely loving the new Infinity badge, how it sinks in, goes on forever, full LED lighting. And then as we work our way down, you are gonna have functionality of the vents on the bottom. Now remember, you'll be able to get more ground clearance or less depending on what you're doing with the QX80 because of that air ride suspension. Now, as you rise up, the hood fits to a T perfectly. I love all the closed seams. And it's one of those things where it could be really hard to create a nice classy design because of the sheer size of the hood, but they brought those elements that nice peak in the center, and then the curves that flow into the A-pillar and then sort of evaporate, really gives it that nice style. Now, as we come around the bend, big wheels are the name of the game, but I'm kind of glad that Infinity went this route rather than just going for the largest number. What you're gonna find on this particular version is that beautiful black chrome, multi-spoke design, 22-inch wheel, plenty large enough to be able to get people's attention, but also gonna give you a nice, comfortable ride. If you're wondering about the tire size, 275 on the width, and then of course that 50 series sidewall. Lori's gonna zoom on in and try to showcase that upper control arm and the new suspension, because like I said, this is a total redesign, more rigid than the previous QX80, which is gonna cut down on noise and vibration harshness. And that's key because when we get to the interior, it's about creating that serene experience, especially for the back seat passengers. Front seat passengers and the driver are gonna be happy, but wait until I show you the back seat. We rise on up, 
Underneath the hood, I know a lot of the competitors, the Cadillac, um, and, and you look at like the Yukon Denali Ultimate has a V8. Guess what? They got rid of the V8, but don't be upset with Infiniti because we have more power. We have a twin turbo V6 pumping out 450 horsepower. That's going to be plenty. You got that ZF nine speed automatic transmission. And if you look at other brands, they also have similar displacement engines and power. But the thing is, is all about the drivability. Coming down the side, just like up front, we have real functional fender vents. Love the dark chrome finish. And then the two-tone. I really feel like Nissan and Infiniti really brought the two-tone into play. And on this QX80, it really is working well because what it does is the black makes the vehicle look less heavy from the side, especially when you look at the window trim. There's not a bunch of heavy trim everywhere that makes the vehicle perceived to be heavy. It looks really, really good with that two-tone. You are going to have your flush door handles, which of course, because it's parked here at the show, there are extended, but those will sink right in. And I'm glad that they kept their style with the fixed running board. I feel like this is something, when I think of an Infiniti QX80, I think of that fixed running board and the way that they were able to drop it in without it looking too obnoxious, it works. It really does. Now, working our way towards the rear, large quarter window because this is a three row full size SUV. You do have, of course, the autograph trim displayed nicely on that darker side. And then coming towards the rear, just like the front, really has the QX80 style, but you can see the differences. The way that they styled the roof spoiler, that piano lighting. Lighting is so crucial when it comes to car design that really they brought it so well, especially the way it waterfalls into that rear fender. QX80 badge, of course we got the four by four. And then as we work our way down, just like we started up front, everything classy and really attention to detail. I think that's the thing you're gonna love about this new QX80, especially with that lower bumper area. But while we go ahead, let's get to the interior because that's where you're gonna be spending most of your time behind the wheel of this QX80. All right, guys, we are inside this 2025 Infiniti QX80. Of course, I know you're wondering about pricing. And what's great is, is that, yes, we could talk about the autograph trim and talk about how awesome it is. It is the top trim, and it does have an MSRP of $109,000. But the great news is there will be other trims that are less expensive. So just something to think about. And if you look at an Escalade, you look at a Navigator, you look at the top trims, you're gonna be spending over $100,000. But let's see what Infinity does different to the door panels. Love the two-tone style. That dark cherry red with the contrast stitching. If you notice all of the design work around the door handle, you have massage seats, two seat settings, and you have the Klipsch audio sound system with the aluminum speaker grill cover, very classic in style. Door pocket, good enough size for a Stromboli and 64 ounces of New York root beer. Now going from the door panel to the dash, same thing, the two-tone, the infinity name, all of the exquisite lining, lighting. This is all laser etched into the material. And then you slide on in, we have that new ginormous infotainment system. Look at all the Amazon Alexa. We could pull up the dash cam here. Here we are at the show, the party is happening. You could take a photo, you could do all sorts of things with the technology in here. And I'm happy to see it because this is as expected and it's a built-in dash cam. Look how large the navigation is. Absolutely love it. See all the edging? This is all illuminated at night. You got your start stop button. Down below, you do have your controls for everything else in this smaller display, but you know what? It's easy to get to. I like the way it's got a haptic kickback. Every time you touch it, you could raise and lower. You could go into your tow mode, sport mode. Hey, you could even build a snowman mode. Same thing here. This is gonna control your nine speed automatic. You got a place down below where you could easily put a Louis Vuitton bag, maybe Calvin Klein. You got yourself some Calvin Klein boxers. You could put them down here. And then you have the leather material, stitching, open it up, two cup holders, wireless charging, felt lining so you're not gonna scratch your titanium iPhone. And then you open up this bad boy. We got the cool box. Turn it on. I almost want to stick my head in here because right now I'm hot and I'm sweaty and I want to stick my head in there. 
but normally I would put my Twinkies in there, have a nice cool Twinkie, and then the seats. Look at the sound system built into the headrest, the Napa leather, the, even the way they did the stitching, all the appointments, the seat controls, the massage setting, the whole nine yards, that's what you're gonna find with this full-size luxury SUV. Even the Alcantara and that ma magical panoramic sunroof letting in the sun's rays. But why don't you come over here to the business end? I wanna show you behind the special wheel in the special infinity. All right, guys, we are here, business time behind the wheel. Like I said, you're gonna be welcomed by that all new sill plate. Love the etching work, the infinity name. Even the way they did the carpet, a nice thick carpet ply with the Infinity QX80 badge on it. That's worth an extra five horsepower. All your seat controls, easy to get to, and just everywhere you look, the material, the texture, the seat really wraps you, like you're wrapping yourself in a leather blanket. And then of course, the steering wheel. Nicely done, flat bottom with the Infinity name embossed, the red stitching, the two-tone. This is to tell you that you're not paying attention with your eyes. That's what that little gloss black box is. We have a large, obviously the display there, digital display, you could go ahead and you could change it. So many, let's go dynamic. I'm feeling dynamic. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. There you go. How about elegant? Let's show them, Lori. Oh, look at that soft, supple, really nice, like a cashmere sweater. And then you do have paddles behind the wheel. I wish that they were metal, so I am gonna zonk that, but it is for the nine speed automatic. And this is a power tilting and telescoping steering wheel, and you have a large digital gauge cluster. But why don't we go ahead, let's get in the mid row, because I wanna show you what's going on in this QX80. All right guys, business time, mid row, and if you think that the front passenger and driver are getting spoiled, you're definitely gonna get spoiled in this mid row with the captain's chairs. What I wanna show you is, is that if you look in the back, you do have your ventilated seats and heated seats, all your AC controls, easy to operate, USB-Cs and a 12 volt, but it's right here where things get really interesting. Two cup holders, but check this out, another touch screen where you could do things like massage. I can go and get my massage setting right now, turn it on, turn it off, whatever I wanna do, easily done, and another center console, two USB-Cs. You could fill this up with about 10 pounds of Skittles, which is nice. But sitting here, really comfortable, AC vents built in, Alcantara. What's fascinating is you can see the party here. This thing, people have been waiting years for this new QX80. Let me show you the third row. I'm not gonna get in it, but I'm gonna show you how easy it is to get into the back. So basically, you're just gonna hit the button. Look at this. So now you're gonna have that third row. There it goes again. Hold on, we gotta reset here. Didn't like that. We have that third row flexibility for and it's, for some reason, it doesn't want you to sit, see anything back there, Lori. I think Lori, it does not like Lori's camera work. But what's cool about it is, is that once we move this out of the way, there we go, Lori's gonna get a quick look in there. You do have heated and ventilated seats. And what's great about it is that you do have also USB-Cs back there and the same great seat leather. They didn't go cheap on the seat leather in the back. But you know what? I know you wanna go for a drive in this thing. So do I. With the amount of people around here, uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a while, but we'll get to it. Let's wrap it up though from New York. All right guys, cargo area time. Hit the hidden button in the trim, opens up nicely. And it's cool because I could show you easily how much room you have with that third row up. I think a majority of people are probably gonna drive this vehicle with the third row down. That would make most sense to me, but very nicely arranged with all the buttons where you could actually lower the rear of the vehicle with the air ride suspension. You could lower the seats which are great. Look at this, I'm lowering everything. One button operation. Look at that, mom, no hands, and all the seats are folding down. It'll be interesting to see if that one folds down with the headrest fully uh, in its up position. Nope, didn't do it. I knew it wasn't gonna do it, but that's okay, because we showed them the rest of the space. And then on the driver's side, you do have a home power source, which is really nice. But this is what Infinity is bringing for 2025 with this QX80, nice electric assist. I can't wait to bring you the other trims. I know the autograph is the top trim and that's awesome to show what is possible, but I also wanna show you the other trims of this QX80 eventually to, sh to be able to feature exactly what you're getting when you go with those other layouts. But definitely gotta thank the whole Infinity team for getting us access part two for this QX80. Let me know what you think. 
have they really hit the nail on the head? Would you rather buy this over an Escalade or a Navigator or hell, even a Jeep Grand Wagoneer? Would that be your luxury SUV of choice? Let me know down in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel, you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Raise Rise family. Of course, we need to thank LG Rady working that camera like the champion that she is. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.